Um, all right, so I have a really good setup right now. Um, road trip. Everyone voted to do vlogs. So obviously the first vlog starts with the road trip out to Ohio. I gotta pee. But I have a really good setup. I found under my seat, unintentionally, a little Jimmy Rig Johnny here. A little Jimmy Rig Johnny there that has a magnet. And then I got my new phone. So I'm recording this on my old phone because it's easy, it's simple. I was actually gonna do my winter ball vlog on uh, a phone, but I ended up not getting a new phone because I'm cheap when it comes to getting new phones. I think that it's, anyways, whatever. So first ever time doing vlogs on a phone. Wow, it's bright. These are dark. Let's update you guys, all right? I'm going to Ohio, playing with Lake Erie. Um, in terms of the why behind the decision, it's because the team color is purple. I've never played with a purple team before. Totally kidding. Um, honestly, it was the one opportunity I got, you know, there was a lot of potential suitors. A um, couple teams in Mexico, indie ball teams, all my affiliated offers had fallen through. Um, so it was looking like, you know, Mexico or uh, indie ball. But in terms of the Lake Erie and the why I picked them, out of the coaching staff, out of the, um, the area, out of the league and, and the, the, the environment, all of those things considering, uh, I just felt like it was the best opportunity for me to not only continue to grow as a player, as a businessman, as a, uh, as a person, um, but to also, you know, continue to just learn and be around people that uh, were like-minded. And I'm really big on, you know, the individuals that you surround yourself with. And with that coaching staff, with some of the players, um, I just felt like that was the, the best opportunity. And when you're making decisions on like a workspace or a, a team or, or whatever, like somewhere that you're going to live and, and, and you know, be present in, um, I put a, a, a huge importance on like being wanted. And I don't know if that's just like me as a, as a with my personality or, or like whatever, but it always feels really good to like be wanted that's an anything in life, right? And I felt like, you know, that was one thing that stuck out with this with this team was like they were they were really adamant about wanting me. And that feels good. You want to go somewhere where you want. I remember uh, I haven't had to make too many like decisions in my life um, as Waze just said there's a vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. I haven't had to make too many of these kind of decisions in my in my life, my career. Um, but I do remember like a couple decisions in high school when it was like, all right, where am I going to go? Where am I going to commit to for, for high school or uh, for college? And then um, when the when the draft came around, it was like, all right, am I going to go to college or am I going to sign? And those are a couple of decisions. But um, that was another thing that I talked about in a podcast that I did with when um, someone asked me about college and my experience. And I said, like, you know, that was a big thing that stuck out on why I committed to Oregon. Although they were all great and fantastic, I felt like Oregon was the one that, like, stuck out in terms of really wanting you. And that was, that's always on, like, the front of my mind when I'm making these kind of decisions. Uh, yeah, so I'm on the road, got another cross-country trip. Avon, Ohio is the destination. Uh, I think I'm gonna do three stops. I'm gonna try to stop here in Reno and throw with uh, with a kid that he just sent me his number. So we're gonna try to link up and get some throwing done. I'm gonna try to do that the whole trip. Anytime I, I need to throw, I'll just throw up something. That's power of social media, it's freaking cool, man. Throw up something on your uh, Instagram or TikTok or whatever and just be like, yo, is anyone in this area? I need to throw in an hour. And it's like, oh, hey, I'm in, you know, I think that's so cool. So try to do that, try to get some throwing in. I was gonna throw this morning uh, at home but yeah, I think they're a little hectic, so I just ended up getting out of there. I, I, I hate traffic. That's the one thing about me is I hate traffic, so I try to avoid that at all costs. So you gotta be intentional with what time of the day you leave and stuff like that. Welcome to the uh, 2021 Robbie Rowe Show season vlog. I gotta come up with a better title than that. See you guys. Yo, you guys wanna see a, a beautiful part of the world? I'm in it. Uh, about an hour outside of uh, Reno, Nevada, going through the mountains, which is frustrating to be honest to drive through because it's like uphill, one lane, it's truckers.
truckers breaking down, slamming on their brakes, no ability to use cruise control. People go downhill and then freak out because they go four miles an hour over the speed limit. So, beauty, beauty. All right, I'm gonna go throw with, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce the kid's name. I feel bad now. Steyer, Steyer, Steyer maybe? I'm gonna go throw with him in Reno. I'll update you guys then. Hey guys, okay, so I'm in uh, I'm in Reno and I went to the address that uh, that my guy that I'm supposed to be throwing with sent me, but I don't see a field. Yeah, oh wait, nope, I do. I lied. Okay, I'm gonna get out, walk around. My butt hurts. I'll uh, I'll bring you guys on the field. Hopefully, we don't get kicked out or anything. See you in a bit. Look at this. Hey, you're on the vlog, man. How's it going? <laughs> Are you a Red Sox fan? I am. Oh, sorry Sorry to hear it. I'm just kidding. They're actually surprisingly really good this year. I know. It's pretty great. Does that work? Yeah, at least I got the weight in my back. Yeah, exactly. Done. That was a good one. Something in the low thousands. 10,000 followers. A true OG. Yes, sir. Do you follow me on TikTok? Uh, I don't have a TikTok. Oh, okay. <laughs> then I don't like it anymore. So, see ya. All right, this guy wants me to sign his freaking Miami hat. So, let's do just that. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, you got a silver Sharpie and everything. Where do you want me to sign? Mm, wherever. Would you just sit on this? Maybe the bill. It's an old hat. I wanted you to sign the nice one, but you know, can't happen. What number am I gonna do? Let's go. 99. No, I'll just give it a little. That actually turned out really good. Can oh, yeah. you read that second part? It looks good. That Thank you. Row one, two. Let's go. Okay, so I switched uh, the camera because I was using the phone, as you guys know. I was using the phone and uh, I went to hit record and it said that I didn't have enough storage because I forgot to wipe the phone clean, uh, erase everything that was on it before I started the vlog. That rookie mistake won't happen again, probably will. Um, just through long toss, uh, great sesh, great sesh. I um, Now that uh, the camera's on, and I'm sitting here thinking about it. Um, I really, I really like the uh, the power of social media because I would have never met Steyer. Steyer? Gosh, now I forget how to pronounce his name. Steyer. S T. How do you spell it? S T E Y R. If you're watching this, man, I apologize. <laughs> um, great kid. Throwing sesh went great. Um, Gave him some tidbits. Hopefully, kid's got a bright future. 19, lefty, fastball change. He was throwing a slider. Then he threw me a curve. He said he hasn't thrown it for six months. And I said, that's your best secondary pitch. Throw that. So hopefully, he's fastball change curve. Good kid. Really good kid. Works hard. Loves the game. I thrive off that. So I'm still in the parking lot. We're still in uh, Reno. So going to hit the road now. I transferred the vlog to my Sony camera. So hopefully everything goes smooth here and uh, I have an extra battery. <laughs> Yikes. All right, guys, see ya. Hey guys, it's been a while. 
Well, I guess it's it hasn't for you watching this. Oh yeah. Um, I just wanted to do an update. I'm not in Salt Lake City. I did say I was going to Salt Lake. That's probably where I'm gonna sleep tonight. Um, and I got a buddy who has a buddy who has a facility. Whoa. <laughs> uh, plan would be to get there, sleep, wake up, throw, train, hit the road. I wanted to do this update because um, it's gonna be dark and you know, you can't do an update when it's dark. Everyone knows that. I just stopped and got a coffee. I don't know if it was the best decision because I've already had a bang and coffee this morning. So bang's got 300 milligrams of caffeine. What does a coffee have? 75, 100, espresso? I'm dead, I'm dead. See you guys. I don't know when I'll update you again. Maybe Salt Lake, maybe before that because I want an excuse to talk because talking keeps me awake. So you guys are my outlet for that. All right, see ya. No pool. COVID. Hey, we made it. Is it bright in here or is it just me? No, it is bright in here. Room 430, I guess I can say that to you guys since by the time you're watching this, I'll be gone. Ah, made it. Um, Salt Lake, Utah, Salt Lake City. Speaking of Salt Lake City, Warriors, big win tonight over the Jazz. And I didn't get to watch it. Tough break. How do you do this thing? Is that it? Drum roll, please. Dude, it is hot in here. Oof. What? That's... How do lights work? Got it. You know, I'm not tired because I had that coffee at six. I'll wake up tomorrow due to the pandemic. There's no continental breakfast. It's more of a grab and go. Grab something. <laughs> Definitely a coffee. They got a cappa cappuccino machine. Big fan of those, big fan. Grab a coffee and then my buddy is uh, at 9.30, I'll have the facility opened. He's got a baseball facility. So that's awesome. Go check that out. I'll be sure to show you guys that, record it. And then hopefully you can get a little training session, but tomorrow's a big day. A lot of driving and a lot of driving with uh, like nothing. Like it's gonna be th this part of the drive, this second part, when I go to the Northern route, take 80, it's brutal. Cause you go through Wyoming and if you're watching this from Wyoming, no offense, but like there's nothing, it's flat, no service. Ugh, it's tough. I had a fire playlist today, by the way, throwback 2000s, so good. It's so good. Like. There's a there's a stretch on the on the first part of this journey, um, after like probably like 45 minutes after Reno uh, on 80 where you don't have service for like two hours, and not saying I, I need service like I don't you know use my phone when I drive but it uh, the the playlist really really helped out. That's it guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning, but for you guys watching, I'll see you in like five seconds okay big gulps see ya uh, hey at least my car didn't get broken into i don't think i vlogged that trip though 2019 omaha to california my car got broken into stole a bunch of stuff and ever since then i've been like so paranoid okay um i got a couple minutes left to record so Shut it down. See you guys at the facility. Later. All right, that's what we got. Swag.
I just did three full circles. Because left on West 106, South. whoever that is. Then use the right lane to turn right to All her fault. North. Got done throwing. Uh, light work. I was going to pick up some food, but I'm not because I have a long trip and I kind of just want to get this thing going. Um, I got to roll my window. Tell me if this was rude. So I walk into the facility. I don't know anyone there, right? And so it's a buddy of a buddy. And um, so I walk in and I see one guy and like introduce myself and uh, and it wasn't the buddy of the buddy. In and half a mile. Exit right. I felt bad because I'd even end up meeting the guy because he was so busy running around. So I just threw in the facility, kind of just like let myself in. <sighs> kind of feel like rude about it now that I think about it, but all right. Bad time for vlogging. That's for sure. A lot of chaos going, a lot of noises. I'm out. See ya. Hey, hi. So I, uh, I, highly highly don't recommend anyone ever to do this what I do um, or even just like text and drive it's very dangerous it, I, it is um, but I've never signed a contract while driving and that's what I've had to do because I totally forgot to do it before I left the house and I totally forgot to do it when I was at the hotel and um, coach just called me and said that you gotta sign it so I'm on the road and I'm <laughs> luckily I had an iP I have an iPad because I was trying to sign it on the phone and <laughs> I was having the worst time. Oh, this is tough. You know, you gotta go with the knee, man. Okay, we're gonna, <laughs> first try. We're gonna redo that one. Okay, here we go. I'm done. I'm done. All right. Tough sig, tough sig for your boy. I'm usually a, a big time perfectionist, but I gotta get this done. All right, well, uh, like I said, I'm in uh, Wyoming somewhere. You ever wanna take a look? Whoa. Probably gonna lose service here in like 10 seconds. All right, see ya. Uh, so, the obvious of why road trips often aren't the dopest because food consumption right you gotta eat a lot of potential crap so i usually always go to uh wendy's and just get some beef patties when i was big into my carnivore stages i did a lot of research on it i got four i thought i said all right well i'm gonna finish this i'm gonna do some walking lunges and then get back on the road hey all right so we got two cups of coffee and I'm doing it again. It's 6 15 p.m. But I also have like these super cool flavors of sweeteners or uh, creamer. The coffee machine in there was so high tech. It was so cool. Yeah. I still have a long ways to go. Getting kind of delusional. That is so bad. That's so bad. Let's, uh. Dude, I'm spilling everywhere. Good lighting. See you in the Twilight Zone. Hey. Hey, guys. I honestly couldn't find you. I forgot I put the vlog camera behind me. I was like, look over here. I was like, I lost it. I can't vlog. Um. I'm out of it. I'm delusional. I'm uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm going. I'm, I'm sleeping. So, I'll catch you in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Hey! Hi! Good morning. Late morning. I got to sleep. I slept 
about six hours, so I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna go meet up with the one and only Dr. Josh Heenan for breakfast. Um, I really am craving chocolate chip pancakes, and there's this place, still in Lincoln, Nebraska. There's this place that I went to multiple times when I played here in 2017, Salt Dogs. And uh, he's gonna hate it, because it's kind of like a hole in the wall-ish, and I feel like Josh is more of like a little uppity scale guy, you know, pinky out guy. <laughs> but I'm gonna love it, so I'm excited. Maybe I'll uh, show you a little bit what I'm eating. Yeah, I need coffee. I have no idea what my plans are. I need to throw, I need to train. Josh is busy though, so he can't help in aid mile, in that. Uh, help Boulevard. with anything. So, I gotta be on my own. Gotta make some plans. I don't know who I'm gonna throw with. I don't know where I'm gonna train. We'll figure it out. Keep it posted though. All right, see ya. Proceed to the route. Look at this douche. <laughs> Okay, gotta flip the camera here. Hey, why don't you pour further, further up? Oh, wow. Is this St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm fine. Yeah, look at how much room. Yeah, I got plenty of room. Did you just shave? I did. Just You're gonna love up. this place, dude. Am I? It's the best. Oh, God. Yeah. God. Hey, thanks for the new. Hey! Yeah, no, I look jacked. All right. So um, I'm gonna go throw, on my way to go throw, with my boy Tyler Goodrow. Um, knowing him and knowing I, what? Knowing how we both are, fans and, and um, advocates for the content, I'm gonna need to get in the back and get into my technology suitcase and, and, and grab the, uh, the dual micage. Hey, look at me weird because I'm vlogging. All right. Yeah, I'm going to need to grab the dual mics because uh, him and I have done some content in the past. There's a whole thing uh, on my website of the content him and I did. He's a former catcher. Now he's a catcher instructor and uh, really, really big fan. I mean, I love talking to catchers, so I'm sure we can we can uh, shoot some quality content. I'm tired. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna throw with Tyler and then I think I'm gonna go back to Heenan's house and use the kettlebells that I sold to him when I was here in 2019, use those to get a workout in his basement in or his backyard. Then take a, take a nap after I calm down from the workout and then whenever I wake up from the nap, if it's the morning or if it's the middle of the night, take off and leave. Ralston Arena. So I think that's the plan, or at least that's what I think makes sense. 289 for gas, good for us. So I'll find a way to bring you guys in on the uh, throwing sesh, workout, and whatever I end up doing. See ya. Yo, look how nice this place is. I'm hoping that that field, JJ Isaacson field, is open to the public. Cause that looks dope. Where has this been? I lived in this city for a year. I didn't know this was here. I was throwing on a, I was throwing on a freaking grassy knoll <laughs> for a year straight <laughs> oh man hey, dude is this a new truck no i've had this thing oh my gosh <laughs> this just screams catcher was that not <laughs> you know what it screams is it screams nebraska dude what is good up you, man brother. good to see uh, you how you doing the last time we saw each other no. your beard was a little bit longer it was longer but it's getting there dude it's getting there, it's getting there. where the heck have these been oh well, so a uh, team that um, I help coach and instruct, they just acquired this. You want to time crunch a little bit? No, no, I'm good. I played, like I said, I played hooky today, so.
always think it, I always look at it like, is there a right you decision? You want to stand on the line? Huh? You want to stand on the line? No. You sure? Yeah. Because I got the sun. So here's a big question from a pitching standpoint. Uh -oh. When you're pitching, okay, or is, I, I always say a pitching standpoint, a catching standpoint. When you're pitching, I'm down in my stance. What are you looking at? That's a good question. So everyone's obviously different. Right. I think. And this is one of those things that you do so many times now when someone asks a question, you actually have to like think about, oh, well, what is it that I look right. at, you know? I'm, um, I am actually a believer in that you do enough reps that like your body just knows how to sequence everything and like put the ball where the ball needs to go. Okay. I'm worse when I'm like super keen in on like the location. Okay. So I've actually incorporated like a, a, a mechanism in which I distract myself and then pick it up later. Again, going from a setup standpoint, okay, I'm gonna give you a one knee down because I want you to focus maybe here, right? Or, you know, you're throwing a change up, right? And your change up's gonna fade this way, so I can work it down here. You don't wanna elevate your change up. Okay. So I'm down here, maybe your target is, is you know, left calf or something like that. And I'm working back from that way. Now, what you're talking about with, you know, going up and in or, you know, into the slot against a righty or a lefty, Right? Well, if I just keep my chest forward here versus being down, yeah. that's, that's a change in itself. That's a yeah. perfectly good setup. Yeah. I can give you this, right? Me being a big guy, okay, all I'm, I'm changing my mechanics a little bit from a uh, stand standpoint. Yeah. I'm up versus here. Yeah. You know, I don't need to do that. Dude, that matters so much too. And it it's does. like, it's no disrespect to the smaller frame catchers, but like as a pitcher, you're seeing the 5'7", you know, yeah. 150 guy back there, and you're like, frick, dude, that location looks so hard to hit, right. like, to execute. And then you see a wider dude. Like, I threw Stallings, who oh, I love throwing to Stallings. 6'5", dude. Bro. And wide, too. Huge. And, like, he would, like, every time he'd give me that target, it was like, how could I miss this target? Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, and that's what my thing is with the wide glove. My dad yeah. brings this point up. Like, when he goes to engage in target, his glove looks so wide and so broad right. that it's like, frick, that looks, like, easy to hit. Right, you know, right. whereas some, you know, everything is a little bit smaller, narrow, um, and then you're like, that's a keyhole, man. I got it. <laughs> How good does Derek yeah, get uh, some? Get some blizzards. I would hammer a blizzard. Uh, honestly, though, it's just it's. Oh, oh, first one. Intentional scuff. That's all right. right. Hey, hey, he's a ball to the scuff. Stop. Oh, cutter. Oh, nice. Try it with the mask on. I trust you, but...
great sash, great bullpen. At a gas station and just found a little grassy spot and got some uh, post bullpen training stuff in. I, I did tell you guys the plan already, which uh, fall, fell through due to some health complications. So I'm actually just gonna hit the road. I'm gonna hit the road right now. I feel pretty good. Um, got some pre-workout and um, see how far I get. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, see ya. So, what do we got? We got almost to Chicago. Might plan on just stopping in Toledo. So you're probably like, why don't you just go the whole way? Well. Toledo has their sentimental value to me because one, your boy was born there and I have never been back since. So why not stop and stay there and, you know, spend some time there. <laughs> All right, guys, there's a copper over there. So better not start the car until I'm off the cellular device, which is now. See ya. Hey! I'm checking into this hotel, outskirts Toledo, in a town called M Mommy? Mommy? It was funny, when I punched it into the, the, the iPhone, the girl said, Mommy. <laughs> she said, Mommy. I'm delirious, dudes. I'll be the first one to admit it. I just did a circle knowing full well that there's no parking in this front parking lot. Um, all right, so yeah, we're gonna stay. I'm like two hours from Avon. And uh, to be honest, I could have drove the next two hours um, to Avon where the team is, but I didn't know where I was going, like in terms of where I was gonna stay when I got there. They, the, the guy, I was texting for a little bit and uh, he said that they got me a hotel room, but he never gave me like the hotel address or confirmed that I could stay. So I was like, okay, we're ready to run. I'll update you guys in the hotel room. All right, video's restarted. How you doing? All right, we're looking good. Hey, another guy. What up, dude? You know you made it when you're, you got a Keurig. That's good. What's in here? Hey, those look soft. Desk. A lot of space. A lot of room for activities. Huh? Hey. In the morning, I'll do a little circuit right here. It's perfect. All right, well, shower, light stretch, bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully, breakfast ends at 10.30. So I gotta be down by then. All right, good night, or good morning. <laughs> Definitely missed breakfast, so. It is 12.06. I'm supposed to be out of here. I'm really tired. Just out of it, exhausted, but Gotta get going. So, hit the road. Go from there. Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. My name is Sydney, what can we get started for you today? Hi Sydney, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. What can we get started for you? Can I do a um, small Americano in a, in a large cup so I got plenty of room um, with steamed heavy cream? Right, Robbie, your total is $2.95, and, and um, Heidi, you'll have that free at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm 10 minutes, 8 miles from the field, but I gotta stop uh, and get, I'm gonna stop and get gas, maybe stop and do like a uh, car wash. The coach for the team that I've been talking to in regards to like my whole situation with living and you know all that he hasn't texted me back so i assume they're on the field right now we'll find out i guess all right well journey's pretty much over
thanks guys for hanging along. Hopefully you enjoyed it. All right, big gulps. See ya. It's always funny like showing up to new, uh, new stadiums, especially home stadiums. And you're just like, I don't know anything. I don't know where to park. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to put my bags. I don't know what bags. I don't know who I am. I don't know why my windshield's so dirty, but well, never mind. I do know why that, that part is, but I see players there. I love meeting new, uh, new teammates. Cause it's like their first impression of me is always, <laughs> this guy's a tool. I mean, rightfully so, I am a tool. Maybe I'll bring you out on the field, but I, uh, I got a lot of stuff I think I gotta bring in. All right, so see you when I see you. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, I think I met everyone. Actually, no, I didn't. The pitchers weren't even there. It was mostly hitters, so I didn't meet everybody, but I got an address to the hotel that I'm staying at, and now that I think about it, I don't know if it's a permanent stay, so do I unpack everything, or do I just bring a bag up? Talk to you when I talk to you. I'm out. I'm, I'm, it's 5, 4, 438. I'm gonna see if there's a Grubhub thing while I take my pants off <laughs> and see if I can get food ordered. I gotta go tomorrow at 8 a.m. for a physical. All right, love you guys. See ya. Five guys, two patties, two patties, two burgers. Mm. Bedtime. So, <laughs> I had to move rooms. <laughs> All right, now we got the other view. So, uh, so much to look at, but how about that earthing spot down there, huh? A little sunset. Yeah, uh, the AC just didn't work, it was broken. I woke up from a, I actually went to bed, like I was planning, I set my alarm, I went to bed, it was like six o'clock, and I uh, woke up at 7.15 or 7.30, drenched in sweat, because it was so hot. <laughs> so I went down, Switch rooms, girl's sweetheart, gave me a cookie, gave me two cookies. And now we're here, AC works. Um, I think the lighting's gonna be better. I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, check out the fitness center. I need to just move, I need to walk, mobility, probably go earth outside for a little bit. Capture the dream. Honey. Okay, so I'll be honest, totally forgot to bring the, uh, you guys, the vlog, to the field today because this morning I had that physical. I woke up and I just didn't know where I was. I'll be honest. I just was in a different reality. I was tired and I had to go to that physical and I just rushed out the door. But uh, good news. Had a good day. I'm starting to unpack all my, uh, my business equipment. And I was like, you know what's a good idea? Time lapse. That's what we're going to do. Time lapse the setup. Even though I, it would have been cooler if I time lapsed getting everything out of the suitcase. But... Whatever, let's do it. Huh, that was a lot. Anyways, we got it going now. We're, uh, we're getting there. I still got to do the clothes, put the clothes in the closet and the drawers. I got confirmation on this being my home for the season, which is good. So yeah, but I'll unpack the clothes and stuff later. Uh, I got a nice little, this is audio drawer. I'm going to keep the camera stuff in the bag. And then I got to find a place to put like, phone chargers, and then USB-C and USB uh, cables. Whoa. But I gotta get to work because I got a lot to do. Um, I think that's it. But that's gonna conclude the vlog. It's gonna conclude the, the road trip vlog. 
Thank you guys. Um, I'll be doing vlogs all season, I think. I hope, unless I get too busy and I gotta kind of get my priorities in check. But subscribe, help me out. Cool. Love you guys. God bless. Till next time. I'm out. See you.